highlight mods for the GT500. Got some good old boxes right here. Let's go head down to the shop. Ooh, look at that lineup. Oh, and we have stockish here. I know. What are we doing? Well, you're getting home. I'm just <laughs> supporting it. Mission success. For anyone that thinks this is political, it's just coffee. Have you seen those comments? What? Everyone says uh, Starbucks is a political move by me, but no, I just want coffee. I don't even understand that. <laughs> but, all right. All right, to the shop. Well, unfortunately, it's raining. It's not raining too bad, but we are on Mickey Thompson ET Street SS's, which we all know are terrible in the rain. Hopefully, once we get on the highway, there aren't any big puddles and it's not pouring. Um, anything like this is not too bad, but it can get bad. So we're just gonna be careful. So we got the GT500 up on the lift. We got Mr. Stockish 5.0 and we got some suspension parts. So this is our phase two of upgrades that we're doing on the GT500. If you didn't see before, we did the BMR uh, lower control arms, relocation brackets and pan hard bar along with the BMR performance springs. That was our phase one. This is phase two to help further get the suspension ready for some drag racing, some corners and all around good street suspension working this is what we're going to be going with uh we actually have a uh, this is actually is poly on the inside but it does have the solid on the outside this is adjustable we can adjust pinion angle however i believe we are just going to be going with uh the basic uh stock length we have a very simple setup on this car um it's bmr performance springs and um, bmr lower control arms we should be good with going with a stock style thing this car is not slammed so um, we should be pretty much okay. Installation is fairly simple, although we do need to remove the rear lower seat um, to get to one bolt in the top there. Possibly have to lower the gas tank, so we're gonna hop into this install and figure out exactly what we gotta do. All right, so just, just in case you guys are wondering, my tires are on the right way. I know everyone likes to comment about my tires being on the wrong way. On that photo shoot, first day I had these wheels on. Um, anyways, we have the BMR uh, suspension here. What we are replacing is the stock upper control arm and control arm mount up there. Uh, we wanted to just take a visual look of this before we started. Uh, we're actually going to start in the rear seat first. We're going to unbolt the uh, bolt that is underneath the rear seat, which is eh, somewhere up there. But, you ready? Yeah. The question is, is if we'll be able to get this whole assembly out without lowering the gas tank, which the instructions say to lower the gas tank. CJ Pony Parts said he got it out without lowering the gas tank. I guess we'll see. All right, so first step is removing the rear seat. I know there's like two kind of like push pins at the bottom and yep. you need to get those out. You just push them in. Pull the rear seat out, race car. And there's that big 24 millimeter bolt right there. We're gonna grab the impact and unbolt that guy. And then we'll go to the underneath of the car. All right, 24 millimeter bolt. Yep, you can go all the way out, pull it out. Just stick it on, stick it down in there or something. That'll be fine. Well, that was easy. Yep. Now to the underneath of the car. So far, so good. Go ahead, Andrew. What you doing? All right, so 21 millimeter bolts on uh, the axle here. 
Max, uh, well, actually not, but backs that right off, nice and easy. Uh, we can use a pull jack to support the rear end and take this bolt out because there'll be pressure on it. Luckily, oh. we got some new nice pull jacks here. With a clamp on. All right, so this bolt here, um, I used a little bit of hammer, just a tiny, tiny bit, and we supported the rear end. And it should be out here in just a second. A little wiggling, finagling. And I guess we're shaking a little bit. There it is. There she is. And uh, now we'll look at the instructions for the next step. Put the bolt out. Nice and easy. You recording? Yep. Okay. Alright. There's one bolt. And another. Let me see if I could see it. I don't know where it is, but somewhere over there. Two. I see it. Found it? Yep. Yeah, I can't see it, but. Trust us, there's another bolt in here. So, we're attempting, oh wow, dude, we didn't even have to drop the gas tank. Oh, that actually looks in pretty good shape. Well, the car has little miles on it. Uh, so, I heard that you might have to lower the gas tank here. Luckily, we didn't. Um, all we did was just pick it up over there, finagle it down around here, twist it, and out. Sorry about that. I don't really see any marks. All right, cool, well then there we go. <laughs> so. Let's go take a look. Uh, we'll need to separate this and measure um, to make this the same length as that. And yeah, I think, I think that's about it. All right, so 20, whoop, oh, my bad. 27 millimeter on one side. We just use an adjustable wrench on the other side. Pull that out, pull the stock control arm out. And this will allow us to find the right length for this guy. Um, basically, we're just gonna line them up, twist this guy out, get the right length, put it in the car, pretty simple. All right, so we just measured it, or not really measured it, just eyeballed it. We put the original bolt in right here um, to basically line these up so they're nice and straight and try to make it as parallel as possible. Put a bolt in here and we adjusted it a half turn here and that's really about it. Um, so they look spot on. We're just going right to the factory spec. We can always adjust later if we want to adjust the pinion angle. All right, so I just talked to Dion at BMR. He said to use this top hole here. Um, if you're looking at the bracket like this, use the top hole for my specific suspension setup to retain the pinion angle that we want. Uh, we got this set up. We just need to lock these nuts in place and we should be good to throw the stuff right back in the car. And another thing, uh, one of the reasons why you do the control arm mount is because the factory one is a little flimsy um, and you do both of these, this could flex, uh, cause some weird deflection. Uh, this is nice and sturdy. Uh, same thing going with the mount. So you can see the stock mount has all this rubber here. Um, this just has a poly inner layer and then the metal on the outside. Uh, so we should get some better suspension feel i am no professional in the suspension world but i trust the guys over at bmr they set me up with this they said this is what we need and we kind of have a whole plan so we're going to do phase one two three and four something like that and we'll get this gt500 working right all right so we got the assembled tightened control arm and mount we've already kind of test fitted it will slide in here without removing the gas tank which is nice we just kind of got a and angle it up around try not to scratch all the nice red paint actually wait i put it in the wrong way yeah this is like the fourth time we've done it though so yeah. redo here we go 
and angle in. If you have stock pan hard bar and all that other stuff, I don't know if you'll be able to do this. But just why is it not? You slid the top end over there, like around yeah, here, up go. and in. Look at that. See, I did it right the first time. First, fourth time, I should yeah. say. Yep, and then uh, you just gotta get it yeah. over the lip of the pumpkin. And up and in. Slider in, up and over. Here's our bushing. And we're gonna put our two control arm bolts, mount bolts up there first. Bam. Yeah. All right, so the control arm tight. Uh, we got the two bolts there. We found that it was easier to put the top one from the rear seat down. Uh, first, we just lined it up. We're gonna tighten it up. We got this tight, our two bolts tight. We do need to grease the control arm, which we can actually get to right here. And we gotta go to a store to get a grease gun. But other than that, we're pretty much done. All right, we bought the cheapest grease gun we could find. Oh, that's going in. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Can we, uh, will it spray grease out now? Uh, this Johnny was 20, $23. Guess we'll update you guys. All right, so I returned the junky one from Advanced Auto Parts. It didn't work. Got a Harbor Freight grease gun, so let's hook this up. Got some grease here. Let's get it done. Because now we have spent more time trying to find a grease gun than actually installing the part. Ugh, gotta love it. All right, so we got this nice handy dandy, nice big grease gun. We assembled the other one right. We know that because we just did this one in the same exact procedure, and it's right. So now we just need to reach the grease fitting. Conveniently enough, this one has a line too, so we'll just keep this one. It was like 25 bucks and then $5 for the grease. So we'll just keep it out of the shop. It'll be nice to have. I think they said like four or five pumps on the, the grease fitting. So we'll check back in with you guys. Oh. Does it work? Yeah. That's it? I mean, it's feeling out, so yeah. yeah. Sweet. All right, so Nick is putting the rear seat in. We just torqued the rear, uh, or the, the bolt under the seat to 240 foot-pounds of torque, which took both of us, yes, us weaklings, no, 240 foot-pounds is tight. So both of us kind of pulled on it and we got it tight. Now we got the rear seat in, so we should be good to go. All right, so theory should be good. We're gonna pull the GT500 out. Back it up, hit the brakes really hard. Feel normal. Yeah, should be good. All right, back her out. We're actually gonna pull Nick's car in, and um, yeah, we're gonna get it up on the lift, take a look at some things underneath. Keep going, you're good for a while. In terms of noise, so a lot of people talk about noise with an upper control arm. As of right now, I have not noticed any difference. Um, my car has always had a little bit of hum in the back, which is very common in 13, 14 GT500s. I can hear it right now, but it's not loud. Um, we're going 60 something miles an hour, almost 70. Um, so I haven't really noticed any difference. We're gonna pop the car into sixth gear. And I really don't notice any difference in NVH, basically the noise. Um, I haven't heard any clunking in the rear, so I know that's a major concern when people are doing it. Um, and that's why we did a poly, not a spherical or anything like that, um, or a solid bushing. We have that metal outside, but we have the poly um, insulating the metal, and then obviously we greased everything up. So, so far everything seems good. So, and obviously pinion angle is still the same as factory, uh, because we just adjusted it to the same length. So, so far everything seems good. I don't know how it does under power, um, but we'll find that out when the roads are dry. All right guys, so that will conclude the install on the BMR upper control arm and upper control arm mount. 
I have a link down in the description to both of these parts. Uh, like I said, it is part of our suspension build. It's our phase two. Um, if you didn't see the phase one, which is lower control arms, uh, lower control arm relocation brackets, pan R bar, and springs, which lowered down the car and it helped drastically uh, with traction. And when I spun, the car spins straight. So we got an alignment, we were able to adjust our thrust angle. Now we have the upper control arm, which allows us to adjust pinion angle. It also helps with deflection, with wheel hop, and the way that the car transfers. Um, so BMR definitely suggested that as a, an important part to get on the GT500. I do have a promo code, it's ML7. This takes 7% off on any order on BMR's website. Go ahead, down in the description. If you guys need anything else, S550 stuff, anything like that, use that code. It takes 7% off, which is usually more than most dealers give. So it's a really good discount code. Uh, so definitely go check it out. And if you guys have any questions, give them a call. Tell them I told you to talk to them. Uh, Dion has been helping me out with getting the car set up. And I'm excited for the future parts on this build. All right, GT500, it is out and done. We're gonna pull Nick's car in, get it up on the lift. We wanted to look at his suspension because we were kind of curious if he had a upper control arm as well because he hasn't really looked there. So, because uh, I guess the previous owner did a few things to his car. So, it's gonna get it pulled in. All right, and there we have the stock junk gonna get stored away for a long period of time and then probably eventually thrown away. Nice. Yes sir, you have a stuck upper control arm. So you know what that means, right? You need to upgrade it. BMR. If you use ML7, you get 7% off your next order. But you got aftermarket shocks. I don't know what they are. They're uh, like with 50-50. These so BMR makes a flat style one. They got the red bushing in there and then you got the relocation brackets. I would even this got the red. This looks like exactly like mine. These are I think these are BMR and I think these are the BMR street lower control arms. And even these have the red bushings in them too. Yep, and then you got a pan hard bar. You need some grease? We got a grease gun now. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, might as well. Nice, and then you got BMR drag springs. Yep. Nice. All right, so I think that concludes it with Mr. Stockish's car. Make sure you slap the like button down below. Do it right now, because awesomeness. We're not gonna rip on the GT500 because it's still pouring out, but we'll be testing the suspension soon, and I got a lot more coming for it, right? What do you oh. think they should do? They should like the video, right? Like, comment, and subscribe. That's it. That's about it. Oh, and maybe go follow Stockage 5.0. Yeah, I might have to.